Hello everyone! We have Anger, Papa Davis, and now we have to lure him towards our shelter to take him out. Or at least to frighten him. We can do this at the fast travel point, so let's do it right away. God damn it, zombies. <laughs> Get out of the way, man. Alright, they're coming from all sides. I assume it's just a bunch of zombie hordes. Which, my god, that is a lot. And our armor, too, is going a lot worse than I thought. Most of our guys are melee fighters. They seem to just be stuck in here. They are quite tough, too. And while I hear explosions, which doesn't sound good. Yeah, that sure that wasn't alright. Ooh, that damaged our rocket pad quite significantly. I feel like we're losing this fight. Yeah. Look at all the loot that's around there. That's insane. The zombies have wiped out your rocket. You need to rebuild it as quickly as possible. I intend to inherit your camp once you've gone. All right. I think, well, I know, I definitely need a better strategy for this. And realistically, right, our problem is that we just didn't have enough guys with guns. Because we only had melee guys. Alright, it might be nighttime, but let's try again. My god, they immediately break through. Oh, what the heck are their zombies doing, though? Why aren't they protecting that fucking rocket? What the hell? You know, I was gonna say, we can actually have quite a lot of these dudes, but I don't think that's gonna be the case when I give them a weapon, is it? Yeah, suddenly they cost a lot more to maintain. I imagine armor also does that? Yeah. Well, I guess they are armorless then? Because I think we need quantity over quality in this case. I might do that on this side as well, just get rid of the armor on this guy. Actually, this guy doesn't need anything, because he's just there to activate the traps. Get a couple more of those in, a couple more guns. Now we have this as well. This is where we get the water from. For now, I'm just gonna turn off all their armor so that we have a little more power. I think this side is gonna be protected well enough. So let's have a couple dudes with spears on this side and just have more gun. Okay, this should be enough. If this isn't gonna do it, I don't know what will. Let's lure Papa Davis again. They break through the walls so quickly. I even wonder why the heck we have walls. I do feel like, though, we're eventually gonna have to move and go to a place where we have only one entrance. At least this side seems to hold them off quite well. And the wall's gone, so I can easily move back and forth now. So I suppose that's both a good and a bad thing. Oh boy, <laughs> we're gonna have to deal with that guy as well, or if it's, it's just Papa Dave is okay. You know, that's better, I suppose. Ouch, man. And he has a uh, quite a bit of HP. I thought I was quite ahead on everything as well. But I guess that assumption was quite wrong, although we're doing pretty alright. Alright, I don't think he can spawn zombies anymore. What the heck do we attack now, though? That part is immune... That part doesn't really do anything. Ah, oh, there we go. Ouch. When it's the bombs are coming out, so that's what we hit. Come on, dude. Do the mines again. There we go. That's one side done. Other side's done. He's coming closer, though. That's quite dangerous. He should be in range of, like, all the zombies we got. So whenever his shields go down, he should be in a lot of trouble. Where the heck is the damage, though? Uh, at the front. Ouch. There we go. Well, I mean, it's really difficult to figure out what you exactly have to hit, or how. Like, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to hit those front parts, right? But they're immune, and I don't know how to get rid of it, or how to get rid of the shield of it. Ah, uh, there we go. We just make him blow him up. Make him blow himself up. Easier said than done, though, I will admit. I don't know whenever the fucking bombs are falling now. Oh, there we go. We're done. I need to get out of here, though. Alright, Papa Davis, this is your last chance to get out of my camp. So there we go. Looks like this had a rocket part. Grab it quickly. Oh, sweet. We got another rocket part. That is chapter 5 done. That crazy old Papa Davis stole his first Zombots from the boss. It was his son, Alfred, who managed to copy the technology and gave it to him. Well, damn. Let's upgrade their launch pad. Heck yeah. Also, this rocket does not look safe at all. And we have to talk to Annie and to Pedro. And then I guess to Alfred as well. 
I'm guessing Pedro is going to be the main quest line. Although Annie is number one in this list, so I don't even know, honestly. But let's go talk to Annie anyway. Oh, she has two quests, even. I'm guessing the runaway is the main quest, because it looks more special. Oh, good timing. My disabled patient has disappeared again. Test subjects like her are ultra rare. Find her before a zombie makes dinner of her. Medical progress depends on it. I gotta admit, it doesn't really sound special, I guess. Our Kate is pretty far this time. How the hell does she even get this far? Also, what the heck are we entering? Outpost Muddy Forest entrance, eh? That is what we're entering, I guess. Well, they got fire traps now, too. Well, let's see what's in the chest in this place. Should be better armor again, I would imagine. The bullets and swamp armor. Swamp armor? Wow, that's actually real damn good. And there's some Bob's archive as well. Let's go check this out real quick. Bob's archives B-22-4, the mechanical zombot butcher. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your zombot with a wave generator and a chainsaw. <laughs> Enable the use, provoke, and self-destruct commands while in combat. Switch to expert mode to fine-tune your settings. Assign the crowd zombot gear module to the wave generator. And that's it. This Zombot will lure enemies in, and as soon as there are enough of them, it'll knock them to the ground and chop them up! And be sure to take cover if it takes too much damage. It's a sucker for an explosive finish. <laughs> well, it was kind of weird if, like, stopped the music and Bob had quite the echo there. Actually, right, now that we're able to make bullets, I wonder if we can make real guns as well. We didn't pick one up so far. It would be something interesting to look into. Oh, look at that. You again. Don't, don't take me back. I tried to discourage that cycle by pretending to be stupid, but it didn't work. I know you're looking for rocket parts. I've lived in the area for a long time. I can tell you where to find one. Near here, there's a farmer who'll take me in. Her name's Mylen. Push me to a place. Can't make it there on my own. Well, damn. Didn't see that one coming. That is a long way. And what does she mean she can't get there on her own? How did she get this far if she can't? Also, how did she even get there? Because it was like blocked off by zombies completely. They even had a wall up. Ah, too much mud. Free me quick. What do you mean, free me quick? Oh, we're almost there. But first, I actually want to take all this black powder. Because that is what we need to, in order to craft the bullets. And they seem to drop quite a bit of it. There we go, I think we're here. Who are you two? I'm looking for somewhere I can survive. I heard about your farm and... What am I supposed to do with a cripple? Ever since my husband fled like a big coward, it's just me who does everything. I can't feed two mouths. What if my friend tracked down your husband? Would you say yes? He can try. Go find my lens husband. In the meantime, I'll check if my information is correct about the rocket parts. I'll look after your friend while you find the craven fool. Not as if she can get up and run off anyway. Well, you'd be surprised. Well, actually, isn't that far away. I guess our husband didn't get that far. Also, you'd think we've seen him already. Are you sure this guy's somewhere around here? Oh, wait, I think I see. Yeah, there he is. Who are you? My lens sent you to get me, didn't she? We can't talk here. Meet me near the skull shack. I well, good thing we immediately know where that is. And if you look at the minimap, we got so many quests going. From the last time, I was kind of hiding in one of these places. But even though it shows on the map that you can't sneak in here, I don't think you actually can. It must be here, right? Like, hmm. I thought it would have been here, at least, because there was a wall up and everything. Oh, here's the skull shack. And I looked everywhere except for here. Seems you know how to find your way around here. I won't go back to my wife, but maybe 
you and I can come to some kind of arrangement? Let's see if you're good enough to find me. Head to where the dead are laid to rest. Oh my god, we're gonna have to probably walk all over the place for this dude, aren't we? Hey, what the heck is this? Reach mass farm in under two minutes. Metro's golden knife. Our farm isn't that far off, so may as well, I guess. Actually, that might just be the outpost and not the actual farm that's out here. Yeah, I thought it was going to be way too easy. This isn't a farm. I don't even know where the heck the farm would be then. Seems like the warden also wants something. Well, suppose we can figure that out later, right? When we reach the cemetery. Now we just need to find this guy. So, looking on the map, there is some buried treasure here. Let's see, we do still have that pickaxe. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's see what's inside. Something's glowing, that's for sure. Don't really know what, though. Maybe the oxygen tank? Why is this a special item? I don't know. Also, I'm not even sure if that was a special item, as it's still a green background. The annoying thing is, though, I feel like we probably already ran past them. Like, this area isn't that big. But I feel like it'd be crazy easy to miss them. Also, wow, that's uh, some base up there. You'd think you'd be hiding somewhere around here, but... I can't seem to find him, nor can I get in here. Well, he's also not right outside here. Well, now that's turning nighttime, it's gonna get extremely difficult to find him. Oh my god, he finally popped up. This is like right next to the chest, though, so... Been here plenty of times. Good. You're competent. I have a plan that will make Mylin leave me alone, and you can complete the mission she gave you. But I haven't finished assessing you yet. Keep moving around. We can't let her see us together. Find me by the big totem. I mean, I doubt she would uh, find us here, mate, but sure. As we'll go towards the big totem. Right, so we've been here before. I don't particularly remember a totem, though. But we didn't really go farther than this. But it must be around back here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Here, I think I'm sure we're just about relatively safe. As to who I am, I'm Selcraig. Sorry for making you travel all over the area, but my wife can be very difficult. Have you ever been married to a sadistic shrew? One time, she even asked me to do the cleaning and laundry on the same day. Celibacy is a breath of fresh air, believe me. It's really not bad at all. Here's my plan. If you give my wife my ring, she'll think I'm dead. You'll have done what she asked you, and she'll stop chasing after me. It's a win-win for both of us. The only problem is... Well, I don't have my ring. When running from Mylen's farm, I threw it from a bridge, and it fell in the mud near one of these totems. I think these things were supposed to scare off the zombies. I don't know who built them. They were, they were here before we arrived, and... Oh, they give me the heebie-jeebies. Good. Which I think I'll be doing some other time, because... We've been running around for quite a bit already. And I need quite a break from just running around. Seems like we need to attract the zombies soon as well. But we'll do that some other time as well. As we just had the big Papa Davis fight. But you would think resets that timer as well, but I guess not. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. In the next episode, we'll go find that dude's ring. And it will probably not work. Whatever the heck they're planning. So see you all next time. Bye, everyone.